Man, so y'all know what just hit me? Now I gotta put eyes on all these dang things. Little sneak peek there of an upcoming video. All right, everybody, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and um, today's gonna be a bait blog. I'm not gonna just focus on like one thing or one idea or one concept. Um, it's a Saturday, and I have a couple hours to play, uh, and I wanna make a bunch of stuff to sell to you guys. Uh, I get a lot of questions, particularly um, comments on YouTube videos and DMs on Instagram. You know, Chris, how do I buy your lures? How do I buy your lures? You know, like, do you have a website? Do you have a catalog? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, I used to sell on a website. Um, nowadays, I, whenever I get time to come out here into the shop and play around, whatever I make or come up with, I will then post to my Instagram account. So the only way I sell nowadays is I make a sales post and it's a first come first serve basis on Instagram only. The reason for that, and some of you may know this, is once the YouTube channel kind of started growing a little bit, um, I got a lot of order requests, way too many than I could ever fill. Uh, I only do this part time. I work full time and now I have two kids. So uh, taking everybody's order is just not feasible. Um, so basically, whenever you see things for sale, it's just something that I had time to go make. And uh, that's what we're doing today, but we're going to make a lot of stuff. So stay tuned, and I hope you'll enjoy. So before we begin, check out this uh, little cool spread of uh, swim baits here. Well, I had to uh, delay the start of this video because the litter box needed changing. You know, I just love my cats so much. I would do anything for those furry little fuzzballs. Ugh, I'm so blessed. All right, so we have the six inches laid out and the five inches laid out. So this is the same mold, just a different size. And uh, you can tell that these six inches are new. It's still a mirror finish. They're not dirty yet. Anyway, um, we're gonna start with everybody's favorite, the green color shift shad. And what we need for that is blue highlight. Well, you can't even see it anymore. But this is blue interference powder. We need some gold mica powder, some regular gold pearl. And then we need the secret secret ingredient. This is Dip Your Car Hypershift ZTG. Affiliate link in the description below if any of y'all want to purchase some of these awesome hypershifts. Um, using that link does help support the channel, uh, and that's always appreciated. And of course, it's dead on or dead wrong on this channel. So we're going to be using our dead on plastics craw tube blend for both of these swim baits, even though one is six inches and one is five inches. Uh, the craw tube blend to me works perfectly and gives me the durability that I want. Now, if I was pouring the four inches, I would move on over to a softer blend like the jerk bait blend there. But we're going to stick with the craw tube blend, at least for this portion of the video. And uh, we're going to open that up and get it ready. All right, shad dot time. There's the six incher there. Let's see if we can do it right. Hey, we got it. There it is. I have to do this a bunch of times. <laughs> Every little half here needs a dot, and they have to be kind of placed. Oh, see, that one's a little bit too big. They have to be placed pretty much in the in the same area, or else it looks a little. Uh, it just doesn't look um, like you poured things very, very uh, consistently. So I try to get them right there in the same spot, um, at the same size, and then of course we also are doing this for every little five incher here. So you have to pour a little bit smaller of a dot here just to try to keep things proportionate to the bait, right? So there's a smaller dot. Let's take a look at the six incher. You can see just slightly different size dots there. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we've got some room to play. So these are the six inches here. One five incher there on the end. So you can see the six inches because of the, you know, difference in the cavity size, the dots kind of line up on those. And then the dots line up on those. That's whenever I'm out here pouring this stuff, that's kind of how I gauge if I 
got the dots um, lined up right is you know once you line up the molds you can see are they in a straight line or are they kind of zigzagging all right here we go that is just blue highlight powder And again, we like to pour just to the top of the little hook slot inserts. I'm not sure if you can see them from this exact camera angle, but that's what we're doing. I'll switch up the camera angle whenever we pour the, uh, the, the gold veins. And there we go. Uh, they're a little hard to see because it is a uh, largely see-through belly, but all the bellies are poured. And now we're gonna take the gold pearl and then we're gonna pour the veins. And this is the tricky part of these laminates because I have to pour the plastic so that it stops just beyond that belly and the tail, but then also stops up here at the eye socket. I don't wanna pour it all the way to the front of the head. All right, let's try to pour some veins. And that's just our, our uh, gold pearl there. All right, sorry for the little shadows inside the mold. This is tricky stuff here. We just want to let it ooze. Not far enough up in the front. So we're going to have to fill that in a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So that wasn't uh, the, the smoothest of pours. But you can see we have the gold up here. And then it stops back there in the tail. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit. A little bit better without having to fix it. Yeah, there we go. And just kind of let it keep flowing. So basically, that is the next step. And uh, we're gonna do that for all of the molds, of course. All right, we've got that ZTG in there. This is always so cool to watch. Watch it come to life with the hyper shift. Oh yeah, baby, just look at the shiftiness. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's just no substitute for it. All right, we're gonna top a few of these off for y'all. Here we go. Beautiful. Just like that. Slow and steady wins the race with hand pouring. Yeah, there we go. All right, there it is. Got them all topped out. And uh, basically now it's just a waiting game to let the molds cool down. So I'm gonna run grab lunch. In the meantime, we will come back and uh, start some new stuff. We'll demold these, let y'all see how they turned out. I'm curious how they turned out and we'll move on. Yeah, can we just talk about how good Panda Express is? This stuff is the jam. They have this like chow mein, Kung Pao chicken, orange chicken. Woo, time to eat y'all. All right, here we go. Oh, it's gonna come out on that side. All right. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there it is. The green color shift shad. Makes such a great bait fish, bait fish color. Let's get another one out. There we go. Oh. Isn't it just loverly? Look at that. I love it, y'all. I love it. Now let's uh, let's get one of the five inchers. See how these did. Uh, yes. Beautiful. Uh-oh, trouble in paradise. It's amateur hour. I got the mold too hot. Look at that. My black dot uh, started to just melt out. No good. Bait's trash. This is always a special moment. This is a brand new 
bucket of swim bait blend. So now that we're going to the four inchers, we want a softer blend of plastic. Oops, why are we not focused? And now we need to mix. Watch this, this is the coolest thing. Once that resin comes to the top, this bucket's been sitting for a bit. Look at that. So awesome. All right, so this is the color shift drawer here. And sorry, the lighting's a little bad on this side. We need this one. This is not uh, the hyper shift. This is the color shift. So this is like a much more affordable type of powder. So we need this. And uh, then we need some regular black pigment here. Okay, so I have the four inches lined up. And here's what's cool about this color. The bottom is just clear plastic. That is just dead on plastic black bucket swim bait blend with no pigment in it. And uh, being that it's a fresh bucket of plastic, uh, there's no moisture that's gotten in yet. So it's nice and bubbleless, super clear as you can see. I mean, it, it looks like water. All right, let's pour one of these clear bellies. We're gonna start with this one. Here we go. When pouring in a smaller mold like this, really really gotta go slow and take your time because it's it's easier to over pour things so because the mold is smaller and it fills up faster um it's you you can over pour the belly way too high really fast if you're not careful so things can get out of control quickly and especially when you go to pour the top layer and again it's vein time but in a much smaller canvas here see if we don't mess it up yeah beautiful just like that I tell you as many times as I have filmed myself making lures it never gets any easier trying to do this real uh, complicated stuff on camera something about on camera makes this difficult. See that little air bubble sticking out there? See it? I hate you. However, we have a heat gun. Guys, we are actually on a live stream right now with live wire plastics. So I'm live streaming what what we're filming right now. Every everybody go give live wire a follow. So yeah, we are we are hitting up the hitting up the dual cameras here, live streaming and filming. But I guess I gotta hop off this live pretty soon to, to finish the video. All right, now that we're off the live stream, we're actually gonna try to pour one of these for y'all, just so that y'all can see one of these get topped off. So here we go. I like to kind of move it on down the tail, get that tail section filled in. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, let's grab one of these. This is what I like to call purple ghost shad. Because that, uh, that color shift that we poured in the middle has this uh, kind of purple to blue to even green color shift about it. Okay, it's going to come out on that side. Yeah, look at that. So it's a little hard to pick up on camera. Yeah, but check it out. There it is. You can see the effect there. So, the reason why I call it purple ghost shad is because the bottom is see-through, like a ghost, haha. <laughs> but because of the color shift effect, also, it can kind of, that purple line can sometimes disappear, like an apparition. I don't know where I'm going with this. The point is, it's a really cool color with a really cool name. And because I wanted more of these, we actually just ran a whole other set off camera. So looking good. So we will have more purple ghost shads coming up and then we're going to move on to some other stuff. It might have to be tomorrow. Um, but anyway, we are going to keep rolling out some cool stuff in this video. Eventually we'll hop off the swim baits and get to some other things. We might even hit up the new ginger ninja mold. Uh, we'll just have to see what's in store. Man, you know, things are weird in my life when I'm drinking craft beer. That's how desperate it's gotten out here. All right, so we're gonna go with a simple capsuled look here. Just black with some small red flake. And then we're gonna do the tails and wings in the new red rum color from Dead On. Super exciting color. So 
So basically, I just want to pour a black capsule, which basically means I just need to fill this mold up. I just need to basically pour it. Okay? And then dump it out. And what that leaves is a somewhat see-through black skin, just like that. And then we will fill up that remainder with the red rum that will also bleed into the um, uh, wings and tail portion, which might look kind of cool. You know, again, this isn't a crawfish pattern or really even a, a real bait fish pattern of any kind, but I just kind of want to see what I can do with this mold. I'm, I'm still new to my own mold here, so I don't know. That's the first step. Yes, just a little bit of red rum action. Definitely want some more in there. Oops. I love this red rum. So just the little red flake in the black capsules, in theory, are to complement this. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's try to pour one of these. We're gonna start back here in the tail. That way we can let this spill. If we over pour it, technically it should kind of spill over into the body because we're pouring this color into the body. Does that make sense? Now we just want to fill her up. Cool. That's kind of how we're gonna do this. And, um, yeah, I hope it looks decent. All right, just took them off the hot griddle. We had to basically get them hot to bond that um, skin to the body of the bait, and now we're just letting them cool down. All right, just got one out. Look at how cool that black capsule looks around it. And uh, from the front, this is exactly what I wanted, just a little bit of black up there. And it kind of looks like a strawberry jelly, almost. Yeah, look at that. Cool, cool, cool. You know, and, and not a complicated pour. I mean, this was only two colors. Just a capsule, and then fill it in. Okay, that went way better, actually, than I thought it would be. Or, or excuse me, than I thought it would. Because when I was pouring them, I was like, well, I don't know if this is really going to look good. But because I poured such a see-through black capsule, you can actually kind of see some of that red rum up under there, which gives it that really cool vibe. Um, those are absolutely stunners. So, what a pleasant success. You know, and, and again, everything I'm pouring is basically a new experience with this mold. And that's what's so exciting is when, okay, you know, I might know what's gonna work in a swim bait, but I don't always gonna know what's gonna work in something like this. All right, now we're going to do something much more involved. I call this remelt crawfish, molting crawfish, or not even molting crawfish. This is all remelt. So what we've already done is kind of poured a kind of little crawfish shell pattern, just like that, with some leftover black. And now we have to do that. Oh, God, I'm not good at math, but that looks like eight more times. Here we go. All right, yay, we did it. That was not fun. Um, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt down some of this remelt sort of brown green pumpkin. It's got some small black flake. That's gonna be our body capsules. All right, so those are looking pretty neat. So I went ahead and capsuled the bodies. Then I poured like that, that sort of gray pearlish effect in the wings and then a burnt orange in the tails. So now we're just gonna fill the body in with sort of a light white pearl and uh, fire them up on the griddle. And I think these will be really cool. All right, the molds are cooking on the griddle just like some eggs and ham. And uh, we're just gonna kind of let those gel together and take them off, cool them down, and we'll meet you right back. Yo, look at this. Why can't we focus? Look at that. Is that not cool, just what you can do with this mold? You know, and, and this is just one idea. This is, you know, just kind of based around just pouring stripes and capsules. I mean, think about the capsule and dust method. Think about the drizzle method. 
anything you can do in that swim bait mold back there, you can apply to this. Oh yeah, look at that. That is ninja madness right there. Look at all the different colors happening. Just all from some remelt. Man, those are stunned. This mold is going to be an absolute rock star. Did y'all hear that? Oh my lord. Who the heck started the dang washer? So we've got some eight millimeter silver holograms that we're doing for the, oh, for the five inches there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful color. And then I already did all of these. I saved y'all the pain of having to watch that. Those are these eyes right here. These little six millimeter fish skulls. Super cool though, but we still have a lot of work to do. All right, a little sort of thumbnail spread action here. Look at those ghost shads. And of course some eyes, just for the heck of it. Look at those. I'm really digging those. And then our Smucker's Strawberry Jam. Yeah. Awesome little spread here. So this is sort of um, just what I had time to do this weekend. Now when I'm not filming, I'm more efficient. So I might have actually even doubled this um, if I was not filming. Um, but that's the way it goes. I wanted to just kind of make a, a bunch of little goodies here. And uh, not necessarily make it an instructional video, but just a day in the life of, here's what we're doing, here's what I came up this weekend. And uh, be on the lookout for these uh, for sale on Instagram. Now, of course, the question is, which are your favorites? Do you like the green color shift shad? Do you like the uh, purple ghost shads over here? Or strawberry jam ninjas? Or these kind of splotchy remelt crawfish gin uh, ninjas? Let me know in the comments below. All right, everyone. I'm whipped. I'm tired. We're going to call this one a day. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Tell your friends. We need everybody to just get one friend to start watching the channel. And uh, we will achieve our goal. So help me get there. I would like to get to 100,000 subscribers before I kick the bucket. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this little uh, bait makers blog. Um, a fun collaboration video coming soon. Stay on the, uh, be on the lookout for that. And uh, we'll catch you next time on the World's Worst Fishing. So y'all have probably seen the, the big banner that's behind me on the wall in my shop. Well, it's time for a little update. So I'm going to use the same background and the same sort of concept. But instead of it saying angling TV series, because it's more lure making now, it's lure making TV. And then I've got my main sponsors on there, AI and Dead on Plastics, my personal bait company brand, Land is the Limit. I don't know, I think that looks pretty good. So that, that will be coming soon. So we'll have a slightly different backdrop, but uh, I've just been kind of playing with that here in uh, Adobe InDesign. And uh, putting my limited uh, skills and graphic design to good use.